Welcome to Uvalde CISD Returning Student Verification. This process is completed online and can be found at the Uvalde CISD website, www.ucisd.net. We'll navigate you to the Uvalde CISD webpage. Once you arrive to the webpage, you will notice in the banner, Returning Student Verification. You are able to navigate to that webpage by clicking, click here, to begin the verification process. You will also notice this will be in the UCISD news and announcement section as well. Either one will navigate you to the verification process page. Once you arrive to the returning student verification webpage, you will notice there is a set of instructions for parents Parents' Instructions for Returning Student Verification. This is a document that parents can definitely print and download to follow along step by step. Once a parent is ready to begin the stu returning student verification process, you are welcome to click here to start the verification process. Parents, please know that if you have any questions on the returning student verification process, you are welcome to contact your child's campus and speak to their PEAMS clerk. Campus names, PEAMS clerk's names, and phone numbers can be found on this webpage as well. If at any time you are requiring more assistance, you are welcome to contact Yoli Rodriguez at 830-278-6655 or by email at yrodriguez7959 at uvaldicisd.net or by calling 830-278-6655. To begin the returning student verification process, click here. This link will take you directly to the Skyward Family Access page. Parents, please enter your login and password. This will open the Family Access Skyward page. Parents, you will notice all of your students will be listed here in this drop-down menu for you to select each of your students to complete one at a time. This message window will share with parents which form needs to be completed. You will notice, go to returning student verification for Donald still needs to be completed for this student. Clicking on that will open the student information window, Donald Mouse. On your right hand side, under the district message tab, you will notice the steps that must be taken to complete the returning student verification. Step 1A, student information. This window will allow you to review your student's information. Please review it carefully, ensuring all of the information is accurate. Allow publication of student's name. Parents, please take some time to review this section indicating whether you grant permission or do not grant permission for the publication of your student's information. Once you have reviewed this information, you will click complete step 1A and move to step 1B. Step 1B, verify student information family address. Parents, the first address is the physical address. Please review it for accuracy. The second address is the mailing address. If this is the same, select same as address. Once you have reviewed step 1B, click complete step 1B and move to step 1C. As you are navigating these steps, parents, you will notice on the right hand side, green check marks indicating you have completed that section successfully. Step 1C is family information. Families have the opportunity to select, receive a paper copy of their child's report card. Parents, please know, report cards can be found in the Skyward Family Access and can be requested to be received in paper format. The information below is your guardian information. Please ensure this is accurate. 
Primary phone number. This is an important section. Parents, please ensure that the primary phone number is listed in the first row. If this primary phone number is a cell phone, please make sure cell is listed and that the information is entered once again. This will allow parents to receive a phone call in the primary phone number address field and a text message with that same phone number indicated as a cell. Once this information has been reviewed and updated, click complete step 1C and move to step 1D. Emergency contacts. Parents are asked to add emergency contact information for individuals who should be contacted in a case of an emergency. Once your emergency card has been completed, it will display in the center window. You are welcome to add an additional emergency contact if needed. Once you have completed this process, complete step 1D, moving to step 2. This is the Verify Ethnicity Race. This is a required window. Parents, please review this information carefully pressing continue. This is your opportunity to review what was selected the previous year and if a change needs to be made for this coming school year. You are able to make this change now. Once you have reviewed it for accuracy, you will click complete step two and move to step three. Step three and step four is bus registration for our upcoming school year. Please take this opportunity to review the form, entering your student's information that will need bus transportation. Once this information has been entered, you will click submit at the bottom of this Google form, moving to step four. Parents, step four is the same bus registration information in Spanish. If you need to review this in Spanish, please take this time to complete the information here. If not, you will click complete step four and move to step five. Step five is the 2022-2023 iPad contract. This is a required form. The form for the 2022-2023 iPad contract lets you know here it has not been completed and would you like to complete it now? Parents, please know if this is not completed at this time, an iPad will not be ready for your child on the first day of school. So please take some time to complete this at this moment. Once you select yes, please review the information the student iPad assignment equipment acquisition form parents must be completed. Please review the information as far as your student ID number, student name, campus. You will click the link English Acceptable Use Policy to review the Acceptable Use Policy. Reviewing this information next, I understand that the equipment I am receiving remains the property of Uvalde CISD. Parents, this section is important to review. This is the use of the iPad agreement. Once this information has been reviewed, it is in English and in Spanish, entering your parent name is you agreeing to the above terms. Next, you would select one of the two. I understand and accept responsibility for the iPad issued to child's name or I decline an iPad for my child and your child's name will be displayed there. You are highly encouraged to select I understand and accept responsibility for the iPad so that an iPad is ready for your child on the first day of school. If this is something that you need more information on, please contact your child's campus.
Once you have reviewed the information, complete step five and move to step six. Step six is a socioeconomic information form. This form too is a required form. To begin the process, press yes. Uvalde CISD is required to collect and report the socioeconomic status of each student to the Texas Education Agency for purposes of the annual state accountability rating and for federal reporting. Please note that this form is not sent to the Texas Education Agency and that the income levels indicated for your family are not reported to the Texas Education Agency. Only the economic disadvantage status of each student as determined by the information provided is reported to the Texas Education Agency. Parents, we highly need your support at this time in completing this form. Please review your child's information, selecting your child's campus, Reviewing information in Section A. Reviewing information in Section B. Section B, complete only if all answers in Section A are no. How many members are in the household? Include all adults and children. Next, selecting the total yearly income before deductions of all household members. Check one box below. Once you select the certification box, this indicates this is the statement that is true for you, or you would select the below one. I choose not to provide this information. Whichever is most appropriate for your actions at this time, then click complete step six and move to step seven. Next is the family survey. You will enter today's date, selecting your child's campus, reviewing the information up above. The family survey will identify students who may qualify for additional educational services. Please review the information carefully, answering which best fits your family's situation. Once reviewing all of the information is accurate and up to date, you will complete step seven and move to step eight. Step eight is the 2022-2023 student housing questionnaire, which is a required document. Reviewing this information, please enter today's date. Selecting your child's campus. Review the information listed is accurate. If a secondary phone number is required, please enter it at this time. The following information is very important. Please review it carefully and check all that apply to your family situation. Continuing to complete this information, once the information is completed to the best of your ability, you will certify that the above information is filled out and returned with accuracy and is complete to the best of your ability. At this time, a parent's signature is not required. If more information is needed, you will be contacted by a district representative. Complete step eight and move to step nine. Parents, please make sure that all required information or fields are appropriately completed. Here, if one is overlooked, a message will appear. Simply select OK. A red box will indicate where you must enter a required information. Select the appropriate response. Move down to the bottom once again to complete step eight and move to step nine. Step nine is the nurse welcome letter. Please review this letter carefully for its information that is coming directly from our district nurse. Once you have reviewed the information correctly, you will select the checkbox. I have read and understand the above information, policies and procedures. 
If you have any questions at this point, you are welcome to contact Julie Mice, the lead nurse. Complete step nine and move to step 10. Step 10 is the health history. This too is a required form. Please review the information carefully, providing family doctor information and phone number. Reviewing conditions, entering all that apply, entering information in this area for any comments on above health conditions, entering information if your child uses glasses, yes or no, names of medication and what they're taken for, enter information on any limitations your child may have. Once this information is updated appropriately, you will select complete step 10 and move to step 11. Step 11 is food allergy disclosure, which is also a required form. Please review this form carefully, entering any food allergies your child may have. Once this information is completed, you will complete step 11 and move to step 12. Step 12 is the tuberculosis questionnaire, which is also a required form. Please review carefully, entering the information that is appropriate for your child, entering all required information. Once required information has been entered, you will complete step 12 and move to step 13. This screen allows you to review all of the forms that you have completed. You will notice on the right hand side, green check marks for each of the forms completed successfully. Once this step has been reviewed, it is now time to submit returning student verification. You will see now a green check mark returning student verification was successfully completed and submitted. Thank you so very much for completing this process. We look forward to receiving and servicing your child in the upcoming school year. Thank you and have a great day.